Userware applies the principles of Wiki to software applications. Let's see how software development works today. You have to download and install development tools and SDKs. You need to set up a revision control to share your source code within your team. The graphic designer needs to install specific software and someone needs to manually integrate the graphics into the application. Then you need to create an executable and an installation package. You also need the tools to create the documentation and then manually integrate it into the package. For deployment, you need to find and configure a hosting server, the web services, the database. Users need to download and install your application. If there is a bug, you will need to start the process from the beginning. All those steps are time consuming and prevent you from focusing on your core business. We are miles away from the simplicity that is offered by tools such as Wiki. The problem with Wiki is that they concern only text and hyperlinks, but userware technology applies the same principle to software applications so that an application can be modified right from its own user interface. Here's how it works. The developers simply connect to a server where userware technology is installed, the application is automatically created, the development environment is built in, the revision control is built in. Everything can be accessed right from the application itself. If a user finds a bug, he or she can place a sticky note on the application. Any authorized user can fix the bug. The change is automatically propagated to all users. When the graphic designer modifies an icon, the new icon is automatically visible to all users. People can also develop plugins right from the application without installing development tools. The plugins are instantly available to all users sorted by popularity, can be used right away without download or installation. Here are some of the userware products. WikiOS open source for the general public, WikiOS Enterprise, some APIs for software developers and a new kind of tool for Microsoft Office. WikiOS is an open source environment running inside the browser. It's like Wikipedia but for software. It reinvents open source development. Let's see a demo. Let's go to wikios.org. You can launch applications without installation. You can share the applications by obtaining direct links to the applications you like. You can embed applications directly into your website or blog. WikiOS lets you learn how to program. Just click the Edit Source button in the top right corner of just any window to view the corresponding source code. WikiOS lets you create new applications right from within the web browser, no development environment to install. The programming language is standard, for example you can write .NET, c -sharp, and Silverlight code. You have direct access to the official documentation. You can reference other people's projects in order to reuse their components. Graphic designers can modify an icon right away People can vote on the best contributions. A revision control is built in so that you can see exactly who modified what. WikiOS brings open source development to a whole new level. The enterprise version of WikiOS allows full customization and gives the ability to control who can modify what. It is perfect for instant deployment of updates throughout the company and Wikilike extensibility. To start the demo, I'm going to log in as an administrator. I can manage the groups. I can change the security settings of a project. Let's give, for example, a partner company the right to view the source code but not to modify it. And let's give all rights to IT services. Now, let's log in as an employee. 
I noticed that there is a new app. I can launch it without installation. There is a bug in the app. I cannot fix the bug because I don't have enough rights. Let's open a second web browser window and let's log in as a member of IT services. I can notice the same bug here, but this time I can fix it by clicking edit source. There is an interface designer. I double click the button to view the corresponding source code. Here is the bug, there is an addition instead of a multiplication. I fix it, I click save, the changes are sent to the server, and if the compilation succeeds, a new version is created. If the new version is stable enough, it can be deployed instantly to all users. No need to restart the application, the issue is solved on my computer and the computer of all the other users. With userware, you can really focus on your core business and add value to your application instead of wasting time worrying about deployment and other useless tasks. Userware API is made for software developers to allow them to include our technology into existing rich client proprietary application. Any application as long as the application runs on Windows. On this demo you can see an image editor that makes use of Userware API to display this very special filters menu. It shows all the filters developed throughout the world by all the users. You can sort them by popularity, execute them right away or create new filters using a built-in development environment and source control. Users can write code in C-sharp, .NET and other standard languages. The new filter will automatically appear to all users. Userware API gives a huge competitive advantage to your proprietary application by allowing its users to extend it in a unique collaborative way. To demonstrate the power of Userware API, we have applied it on Microsoft Office. The result is called Userware for Office. It allows to develop add-ins right from within Office, to instantly deploy them throughout the company, to control who has the right to use them, and to add extensibility. Let's see a demo. You only need to install one very small add-in, which is a sort of bootstrap, and allows to get the other add-ins from the server. After authentication, everything from now on comes from the server and can be fully customized to fit the needs of your company. The address of the server can be modified from the options. I simply click Add Component to see the list of all the add-ins available in the company sorted by popularity. Let's select the Sales add-in. This adds a Start button that increments the number of sales every second. Now let's log in as a member of IT services in order to see the source code of the Sales add-in. The development environment comes from the server too. The revision control is built in, so I can see the history of modifications and revert to previous versions. The code is written in standard languages. In this case, it is written in C-sharp and it calls the standard Microsoft Office interrupt assemblies. You don't need to learn anything specific to the userware platform. The interesting thing is that you can make changes to the code without restarting the add-in. For example, I'm going to increase the number from 1 to 10,000. I save the changes and it is reflected in real time on my spreadsheet. The update can be deployed instantly and transparently to all the users throughout the company. Userware for Office solves all your problems related to developing add-ins, deploying add-ins, and updating add-ins. It includes in one single product a development environment, a revision control, and a real-time deployment system. Please go to userware-solutions.com for more information. Thank you for watching this video.